Hello, uh, my name is Yasin Dahi. I'm here to talk to you about uh, Learnful, a collaborative OER platform. Uh, thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, here's my contact info. If anything I say today uh, sounds interesting to you, you can always uh, get in touch and uh, we're obviously looking for uh, folks to uh, collaborate with us, uh, which is the reason why I'm here today. Uh, so I'm here to talk to you about Learnful. Uh, it is an ongoing OER project uh, to provide a free and open platform for educators, instructional designers, students, researchers to author, share, remix, collaborate, and build OER and also open communities. Uh, if you want to check out the prototype or the Canadian demo, uh, you can go visit uh, learnful.ca. Uh, Learnful has some core goals. Uh, and I'll just quickly talk about these before getting into a quick demo. Uh, our goal, one of our goals is to make OER approachable. Uh, and this is, uh, we intend to essentially uh, lower the barriers to participate, uh, encourage sandboxing of ideas and experimentation, curiosity around OER, especially for some of the newer uh, educators who are finding uh, openness, uh, open education practices for the first time. Uh, we hope to make OER sustainable uh, by, you know, uh, by uh, having a platform that uh, puts social and community features first. Uh, uh, Learnful is not just about uh, authoring OER, it's more about uh, finding connections, networking, uh, discussing, reviewing, and sharing ideas. Uh, lastly, uh, another goal uh, we have is to make OER compatible. Uh, what we mean by this is uh, we want to uh, make o uh, the OER authoring and the sharing uh, aspect uh, contextually relevant to the educator. Uh, so we, we've designed a platform uh, with modularity and granularity in, in mind to fit the shape and the size of the uh, educator's goals or their uh, pedagogical uh, initiatives. Uh, so before jumping into a demo, just to kind of quick, provide a quick overview of some of the features you're going to see in the demo. Uh, we have some social engagement and collaborative tools built into Learnful. And the idea is that we're trying to make OER sustainable uh, through sharing the responsibility and sharing the effort to uh, create and uh, modify and keep up to date certain um, uh, resources. Uh, so what you'll notice in the demo are shareable portfolios, um, micro interactions on resources such as bookmarking, liking, sharing, embedding, and so on. Uh, being able to grant permissions uh, for other folks to edit your resource, uh, and also discussions and sharing uh, adaptions and uh, providing notes and feedback. Another feature that I hope uh, we'll have enough time to cover today or to, to provide a quick demo of uh, is our collaborative workspaces. Uh, and the idea of the collaborative workspaces is that, uh, you know, uh, OER is best uh, built in, uh, within communities. Uh, and so within, a, within Learnful, you have the opportunity to create a workspace, um, uh, which is, is, is essentially a discoverable initiative. Uh, there are organizational tools within the workspace, uh, so you can, uh, with your with your group mates, uh, essentially organize the efforts around uh, the initiative. Uh, you can create, share, review OER within the group. Uh, you can provide uh, uh, roles and permissions to different members as they join your group. And lastly, uh, uh, the idea is that the initiative output is cataloged, uh, so the shared output and the shared initiative is uh, collected in some meaningful way. There's obviously a lot, uh, uh, there's a lot more that I would love to talk about, but given that we only have seven minutes today, I'm going to just kind of skip over uh, most of the stuff and just focus on the social and collaborative features of Learnful. So with that, I'm just gonna jump into a quick uh, demo. Uh, here, I'm logged into Learnful and I'm looking at an H5P element. Uh, you'll notice a couple of things on this page, noticeably the sh uh, sharing features. I can like this, essentially bookmarking this resource. Uh, review, remix, share, embed. I can see the uh, uh, the information about the author of this uh, resource, and I can view their portfolio to see other resources they may have created. I can contact this person. Back on the resource page, uh, you'll notice that if there were collaborators uh, provided here, uh, if there was a license, uh, uh, the license information gets automatically generated here, metadata, and then we see our discussion uh, portion here. And 
you know, obviously we can create, uh, we can post, uh, we can have the discussion with the author in here. We can also report our adaptions or uh, adoptions of this resource. Uh, and the idea here is that, um, you know, uh, we're essentially um, letting the author know that we're using their resource in some sort of way. And that might mean that they, before they make a major uh, edit, uh, you know, they might get in touch with us or perhaps we want to be one of the collaborators. Maybe this is the, the way that we communicate that. So that's an H5P element. Uh, and I'm just going to uh, look at a lesson resource. So lessons, uh, you know, obviously the, the resource page remains the same. Uh, what changes is the content. And so to get a good look at a lesson resource, I'm just going to click on the student view. And from the student view, we'll see this page generated, uh, which has you know all the different blocks of content that this page is structured with, uh, including some H5P elements um, embedded within the uh, page itself, and a GeoGebra uh, element I framed in here as well. One minute left. Okay. Uh, so very quickly, uh, I just want to show the remixing feature. So let's say this was a uh, resource that I really liked and I wanted to remix this. Um, I could hit the remix button. Uh, I can go in here and I can start to, you know, perhaps I wanted to add a uh, collaborator before I save this. You know, one of my colleagues at Athabasca, perhaps. Um, and I can search for them using their collaborator ID, add them as a collaborator. I'll create this remix. And now I have a uh, full copy of that resource, including all the content that I can go ahead uh, and begin editing. Uh, and, you know, for instance, I can add H5P resources. Um, I can add that H5P resource that I bookmarked earlier into here. And if I go ahead and save, uh, that resource will be available wherever I put it. In this case, it was, it was at the bottom. There it is. You also notice that the uh, because uh, there's a Creative Commons license attached to this resource, the attribution uh, gets carried over, including the collaborator's name that I added, uh, and also including the fact that this is a remix of an original work. Uh, I can always uh, the the original work is always uh, referenced here as well. So as a uh, instructor, I can always go and take a look at the original work and. Um, see uh, what happens there. OK, so that's my time. Sorry I wasn't able to get to wor uh, workspaces, but uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm going to stop uh, sharing my screen right now. Thanks, Yasin. I see lots of questions in the chat, so you might want to start there. OK. I'm trying to figure out how to stop sharing my screen. I think that did it. It did. OK. Um, so I'll just move this over here. Do contributors get screened? Um, so on Learnful, uh, uh, Learnful.ca is a Canadian uh, platform, so for Canadian educators. Uh, the idea is that it's a bit of a meritocracy. Um, so as in, uh, uh, educators or members interact with the site, they earn points, and potentially points could be the way that we screen folks, if you will. Uh, but Currently, there aren't, there isn't any mechanism to prevent somebody from from joining. Some, uh, you know, kind of like the the way that OER Commons might uh, prevent you from publishing content. Uh, that might be something that we look at, but uh, currently, there we're not approaching it that way. Uh, in terms of how porous it is, uh, it's a great question, Jess. Uh, we are wor working on different ways to export content, uh, for example, uh, into like a common cartridge or, or to a, uh, you know, just a uh, raw HTML. Uh, but um, uh, currently, uh, there is no, uh, or even EPUB um, uh, or PDF. Um, those are features that we're going to add uh, down the line. In terms of import, we don't have any working imports either mostly because of the uh, intra, uh, the different way that we're approaching uh, structuring content. You know, content is in blocks, and the idea is that each of those blocks can be, uh, are, are, uh, can be taken out of the context of that individual resource. Um, so it's a different way of approaching the, the authoring of the content, and 
makes it a bit difficult to import, unfortunately. But it is something we're looking at. OK, so that's time. And I'll, I'll just answer the rest of the questions uh, in the chat window. And if uh, you feel like uh, getting in touch, I'll just share my email address here as well. Thank you very much, everybody.